a happy and glorious Monday to you. Taxes are due tomorrow, so why not get a gorgeous upper body pump and some core work in before all of that nonsense has to happen. So that said, I do recommend a mat. I do recommend a set of dumbbells. I'm a little nervous about using eights, but I think, you know, why not? Let's do it. Um, and if I have to go down and wait, I have to go down and wait. It is what it is, right? 20 minutes together, four minute warm up, and then a three minute cool down. We're gonna get it started right now. So before we do anything else, take a quick moment, observe your space, observe how you're, observe how you're feeling, and let's close our eyes. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Let it all out. Okay, we're gonna hit play as a team and we're gonna get right into our warm up. Go ahead and hit play in three, two, and one. And we'll come back and we'll get that warm up on right now. So yes, there are push-ups. Yes, there are rows. Um, I am wearing shoes. I'll be honest with you. You don't really need them for the workout unless you want to wear them. But I'm filming another workout that requires shoes, so it's just better for me. So let's go ahead and bring those arms together. Pull the arms apart together and apart. Start to connect to the breath work here. I have an athletic stance with my legs and my core, so I'm not locking my knees and I'm not protruding through my abdominals. So we're gonna to start to connect with that breath. Exhale, inhale. Two more. Last one, excellent. Now from here, I'm gonna bring my knees just a little bit more bent and I'm gonna to start to find a little bit of a T-spine rotation and then I'm switching my sides. I'm just gonna come over. And I, I might say if you're just like really stiff today, you could always go a little lighter on it, meaning I could take my hand to my knee, just open up my, my ribs from right to left. But since I'm feeling pretty good here and I wanna demonstrate the full boat, we're gonna keep going just for a few more seconds. Oh, I just popped my hip. <laughs> Inhale, exhale the transition. Let's do this last one. Other side, excellent. And then I'm just gonna start to find a little twist. So I'm just getting into that rotation of my trunk. There are some trunk extensions today, which incorporates not just our abs, which we will use, but it's gonna work the erectors of the spine. Last two, last one. Good, bring those arms out. I'm flying my arms, that's it. Nothing crazy, you're just flying the arms up and out. Go ahead and meet me in a high kneel position. Keep flying the arms. Starting to feel that mid deltoid fire off, at least I have abs in tight, give me two more. Last one, hold them up, turn the palms up. Beautiful, I pull and push. It isn't exactly what we're gonna be up to today, but it is good to see it. Couple more. Our warm-up has about 90 seconds left. So just feeling biceps starting to fire. Three, two, and one. Stay on your knees, bring yourself to your hands. Showing this to you a little bit at an angle. I'm gonna lift my torso, find a nice little cow pose. Exhale, dome my spine. Really kind of move right to left a little bit. Let's do two more, inhale to lift. Working that spinal column through all the way from the base of the head to the tailbone. Last one, exhale to round. Inhale to open, beautiful. Take a look at your hand print. We're gonna bring those hands in a little tighter. Bend the elbows down, press up. Bring the arms out, bring the elbows out, press up. Do it again. Bend the elbows down, press up. So we're doing a little triceps push up and then a wide grip push-up. Good, well, to go for, let's go for one more. I'm gonna show this to you directly from the front so you can see the hands. Hands are narrow, elbows bend, extend. Hands are wide, elbows bend back and out. You know what, let's do one more. I know I said one more last time, but it's good to see it. Excellent, now from here I'm gonna find balance, right knee, right hand, and I'm gonna pull, pull. Couple more seconds worth, and then I want you to switch. 
So we're just gonna make it a nice little fancy transition. We have six seconds left in our warm up. Last two, last one. You're gonna see six activities, one minute a piece, two times through, one minute finisher, and we're out. Okie dokie. So very first thing we're up to is our push up from a walkout. So bring yourself to the back of your mat, feet about shoulder width apart, knees are soft. Walk your way out. So our first push up is going to be our narrow grip push up. Then I walk it back. I rise my way up. Our next push up is a wide grip push up. So my hands come a little bit wider and I drop in. Walk it back. Guess what? It ain't rocket science. I come right back and I do another narrow push up. And I'm going to show a modification for those of us that need it. Elbows bend but the knees also came down with me i'll show this to you from a profile on this last few seconds my feet are nice and wide apart the wider my feet the better stability my now so wide grip press walk it back we have time for one more push-up so we'll do our narrow grip press here good knees could bend right okay next up we just did our upper body strength now we're going to work into our core group I forgot what our core was. Oh yeah, I told you and I'm excited about this one. Meet me on your stomach. Hey, Mandy, I'm not gonna be on my stomach today. That's fine. I'm gonna show you something else in just a moment. We're gonna do our trunk extension, arms up. Trunk extension, arms at a diagonal. And then trunk extension, arms at a T. Mandy, again, I'm not on my stomach today. So keep going if that's you. If you're not on your stomach, you're gonna be in an all fours position. I'm gonna take my right arm and left leg, and then my left arm and right leg. Just keep going with that, okay? Work on that for the first round. Those of us that are in that trunk extension, again, showing you at a little bit of an angle. My arms are gonna start over my head in an I position, lift and lower. Pull the abdominals in. Y position, lift. Notice my neck. My neck is in alignment with the rest of my spinal column. Excellent, that's our trunk work. Now we're moving into our next upper body pull. You're gonna grab one dumbbell. I'm using an eight. I feel like this is probably pretty strike zone for me. So I'm gonna call this a lawnmower row. I'm gonna pull and return. <sighs> Being on that hand, really pushing the ground away from you. Now this is the only activity in the workout today where we're gonna split our minute in half. So just give me like two more rows. And then we're gonna switch our sides. Just like the warm up, only we've added some load, right? I've got that eight pound dumbbell. I'm bringing it right across my rib cage. <sighs> Core in tight, slight squeeze of the seat. I'm getting that rotation through the trunk, nice and supported in my hand on the floor. My elbow is not locked. You've got five seconds. <sighs> Excellent job. Beautiful, set the weight down. We're into our forearm plank. So showing this on a little bit of a diagonal here. Bring yourself to your forearms. Okay, first few seconds, just kind of solidify how you're feeling right now. Second seconds, here now we're gonna move into that hip dip. I'm gonna drop over to my one side, come back through the center, and I'm slowly dropping to the other side. Now notice the shoulder here though. I'm not letting my shoulders drop. I'm keeping them away from the ears. They're not elevating up towards the sky. I'm really trying to dome that spine. Keeping it pretty simple because simple is effective. So my elbows are underneath my shoulders. My neck is long. I'm looking at my thumbs, except for when I'm looking at you. Last couple. We got time. We'll get a chance to do it again. That's the gorgeous thing. Bring the knees in. Grab your dumbbells. Now, this is what I was telling you. It's like, I don't know about this one. This one might be a little challenging. Bring yourself to a high kneel. Turn your palms forward. Lateral raise. Bend your elbows. Open back out. Return. Breathe. Exhale, lift. Inhale, bend the elbows right into that shoulder head. Exhale, extend your arms. That's the hard part, right? My arms are like, wait a second. How long? Yeah. So if I needed a modification, I could do one arm at a time so that I get more rest time per arm. Or I could set my weight down and do a body weight. 
or I could choose to go to my closet and get another set of weights, right? So just so you can see my, my posture from the side, I'm not letting my belly drive forward. I'm actually tucking my seat and pulling my abdominals back. Awesome. You got time for one more. Thumbs up, thumbs in, and release. Excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna move into our crab touch and dip. Sounds like it's gonna be some sort of like fun tree. Unfortunately, it is not. So I'm gonna find myself in hands and heels. I'm gonna do my crab touch right with left, dip, crab touch left with right, dip, right with left, dip, left with right. Mandy, I cannot be on my hands like this. It's just too much. That's okay. Get yourself a chair. Try yourself on your hands, wrapping your hands around the chair. See if that works, because sometimes that wrist positioning is really the biggest issue with this type of stuff. If it's really not working, what I recommend you do is grab one of those dumbbells and do an overhead or a triceps kickback. So what's tough about this is push-ups involve the tricep. We're also post-exhausting that tricep with that activity. Okay, we're back around to the top, which means what? We're at the top of the push-up. So bring yourself back to the back of your mat. Remember, this is going to be narrow grip alternated with wide grip. We'll start wide this time. Walk it back, rise it up. So you're getting little breaks because you're able to get off the hands and stand yourself up. Now, it's the narrow grip push-up. I'm not as good at a narrow grip push-up personally, and that's probably true for a lot of folks because a narrow grip push-up involves less musculature. I get a lot more help with the wide grip, a lot more muscle, mainly our peg major, just to be really clear there. <clears throat> okay, good news. Oh, that's our triceps press there. You got time for one more, this is it. Last push-up of the day. Last push-up of the day, wide grip to finish. Excellent, and then meet me on your stomach, showing this to you at the angle that I told you about last time. My arms are gonna start over my head. Lift, Y, lift, right, Y, and then out to a T, lift. Check it out, I'm pointing my toes. I'm looking down the bridge of my nose. I'm working the back of my body, but I'm also engaging the abdominal wall. So this is a really great postural activity because the floor won't lie to you, it's, it's flat. So you can't go beyond it. So if today you feel like you're not getting a very big lift, well, that's really illuminating for you and that's a good thing. That means you're learning, oh wow, I'm really kind of like a shrimp, right? So we're trying to open up that front body, grab one dumbbell. Good, so last time I started on side one, this is my side two, I'm starting on side two this time. I only get two opportunities. <sighs> Very Eminem moment. Only, he, only, he only got one opportunity. So, <laughs> last few seconds on this side. You're really following it with your torso and your eyes. Switch your sides, please. Good. So, I am pressing through the outer edge of that foot on the back, and I'm pulling that weight. <sighs> right outside my rib cage, below my armpit. There we go. It's like we're starting that lawnmower. I used to have a, a lawnmower, lawn mowing business with my friend in high school. We were cool, all right? Shout out, John. This is time. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna move into that core work. I, I hate a forearm plank as much as the next person, so don't worry. <laughs> All right, come onto your forearm plank here. Slow wins the race, right? So I'm going slowly. How few dips in the hips can you do throughout the minute? So how slow? I just did one, right? And now this is the second and other side. I'm really feeling all the muscles surrounding my rib cage, but I'm also getting a nice little rotation 
that feels pretty stretchy and pretty doable for me. Now, if I needed to modify, I could set my knees down, rest, come back and rinse, repeat. And if I'm really struggling, just hold the forearm plank, drop to the knees when you need to, lift the knees when you can. Progress over everything else. You don't have to stick to every single thing perfectly, right? There is no such thing as perfect, by the way. That is your time. Okie dokie, grab your dumbbells. High kneel position, you can absolutely stand if you want. Bend the elbows in and return. My palms face first, it's like a little jumping jack with the arms. Core and tight. I just pulled my navel back, right? She makes mistakes too. There's all kinds of things that go into this movement. A lot of core stability as the weights lift outside of the trunk. I'm starting to really feel this. Biceps, mid deltoids. Man, I'm feeling a little back body, right? That makes sense because I'm supporting myself core and tight. Now we're getting close to the end of the workout. There is one thing we have not done because it's our finisher. In the finisher, I don't recommend dumbbells. We'll do this body weight. Excellent, that was your last one. Set those dumbbells down. Meet me on your hands and your heels. We've got the crab dip and touch. Again, not food sounds like it. Sounds like it's gonna be a delightful treat, but it's not, right? Oh, so you saw me trying to like speed my way through it unsuccessfully, I might add. So slow, slow. Yes. Listen, we got 30 more seconds here. Oh, hello. I'm feeling this shoulder work, full shoulder. Oh my gosh, she is something special. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what? I like a pun. So you chose to come over here with me. <laughs> You're gonna deal with these puns, that's your time. Let's ring out the wrist real quick. Okay, we're not on the hands, that's the good news. This is our finisher. Go ahead and meet me in our V-sit. I'm gonna reach my arms, okay? So I'm curled up here, I can absolutely hold my head. This is for a full minute. I'm gonna lift my way up as much as I can. And then I'm gonna reach those arms up and I'm gonna roll myself back down. This is a very difficult core activity. So if you're struggling, welcome to my party. Curl my way up, reach the arms up, and return. Bandy, what's a modification? Set one foot on the floor, curl your way up, reach, and you guessed it, you would just switch that foot. Teaser, right, I pull my way up, I'm lifting and lowering. It's really difficult to, to talk through it, so I'm doing my best here. Last one, curl the way up, reach, and return, guess what? The hard work is over. So if you'd like, go ahead and move to that last track for our final bit of work, which is our cool down. A lot of arm work today, so go ahead and sit yourself, either cross-legged or however you feel comfortable. Take your right hand, pull the fingers back. Draw the shoulders down. And then just pull your knuckles back. Nice little wrist stretch. I also feel it through the muscle tissue of the forearm. And then just give that wrist a nice little ring both directions. Switch. I'm just gonna go in the opposite direction. Why not, right? Knuckles towards us, shoulders back and down, and then pull the fingers back. Really gorgeous, nice. Excellent, slide the hands behind you, open the chest, drop the chin. So I feel this through my biceps, but I also feel it through a little bit of my cervical spine. Walk the ear over to one side, and then walk the ear over to the other. Yay. Come back to the center. Give yourself a hug. So if you can reach here and get your fingers on your shoulder blades, excellent. If you can't, it's totally fine. Just try to lift those elbows up. Now, if you're feeling like you're not getting much of a stretch, go ahead and eagle wrap the arms and give yourself a nice floss. 
So we're separating scapula from spine here. I'm still sitting tall, which is actually making my core work. <laughs> Open up the arms and switch the arm that's on top. Good, again, reaching for the shoulder blades as much as we can, lift the elbows. And again, if I feel like I can get my hands to clasp and I do a little floss of the shoulder, great. If not, it's totally fine, right? We're all different. We're all working in different lanes, right? So just stay in our lane, if you will. Last bit here. Good. Now from here, go ahead and uncross your legs, slide the legs forward and fold. So we're stretching our, our spine here, soften the knees. Because if, if your knees are really you know, straight, you're gonna feel it more through the hamstring. So in this instance, since we didn't really work the legs, they were just there as our support beams, you can really focus up on a little rotation and get a little low back stretch along with some of that QL. Let's just rotate one more time, both sides. And you can always grab a towel along the base of the feet. Good, return through the center. Good, I'm gonna recross the legs, take my right hand to the floor, lift my left arm up. Look over that left shoulder, this is the last bit of our stretch. Nice little sideline stretch. Tap the mat in front of us. Lift back up, return. Switch your sides, last bit. I'm reaching up and over, hold for a moment, lean back in space, tap the mat, come forward. Nice little stretch. Back through center, return. Good, awesome work. I really felt those shoulders. I really felt my buys and tries, and of course, chest and back, so that was the goal. And of course, our core. I hope you had a great workout. Obviously, hit me with all of your feedback. The more I know, the better I can be. Um, and. That's it. That's all she wrote. You know how I end things. Peace.